and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods. Now we've got quite a few mods today. This week is crazy for mods. Let's go into the mod hub and have a look in there. And in the mod hub today we've got a few mods. Click on show all mods and there we got it. We have four or five. Right, first one is an update of the Flegel Silo Roller, which is model was rebuilt. Silo Roller from Big blah, 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 blah. Textures are all new. Right, well, we've already looked at that. We're not going to look at that again. Now, what's this? This is the Flegel Duo. Is this a cleaner upper, perhaps? I'm not sure, to be honest. Or is it just a tether or... I don't know. That's a bit. That's by Agrar Technic Nor Defal. We'll have a look at that one. Then we've also got a trailer pack FS19 HW80 trailer pack, and this is by AAA Modding. They're doing a hell of a lot of mods here, or she. And it comes with four different trailers, five different trailers. It shows there, or is that the different colour combinations, maybe? But yep, yeah, it's another new one and we also have now we've needed something for moving kit around a low loader trailer and this is by bandit booker the american bandit do 24 four and a half grand it's saying that is that's bloody cheap for a trailer like that but we have not got a trailer for transporting anything so this is a welcome addition now moving on to vehicle shelters we have two types of vehicle shelters by nico pixes nico picks and that is your lot today right so first out is the d the do 24 bandit trailer the american bandit and it's four thousand five hundred pounds to buy and two hundred and twenty nine pounds to lease got your tail lights in there now did i leave the lights on on this one i was meant to so let's go on to the trailer uh, we've got all the colors for them the main colors are five hundred pounds extra uh, you have got different colour rims and you see we've got the chrome rims on there and they're £400 each minus six slots this trailer and I was surprised how stable it was with the T7 on the back it will let's just jump I'll tell you what let's unload it first so have a look at the animation going on And then we'll unstrap that log. Come on, unstrap. There we go. I got my trusty log for holding things on. However, it will shunt forward, and when you go forward on this, you see we have a problem. But then again, this is not meant to be pulling this much weight. But the way the weight distribution works on the trailer is pretty, pretty awesome. See it bouncing around all over the place. This is a welcome addition. I've been waiting for a trailer like this, well, since it came for months, absolutely months now. And here it is. It's here. Awesome. But you can see that yeah, it's got the lights on the back and then it has got one side light on that side and obviously one on that side as well. Oh, hang on. That one, you've got two lights. Three lights. And then that side. Oh, I didn't notice that one before. And I didn't notice that one when I was looking. It was hidden. So it has got the three lights. Stupid. But yeah, all in all, nice looking mod. The American 
bandit. I will be using this a lot. And the black one, loving that. Now you have got a line to line it up. You, this is the middle plank, so as long as you get it in this bit, you should be good to go. Simple as that. Moving on, we have the Fliegor Duo. Now this is a silage spreader, which I've, I haven't seen one of these before. I think there might have been a mod for FS7, I, but I haven't actually seen or used one before or downloaded one. Now this little bad boy will cost you four grand and it's £204 to lease. So not ex too expensive bit of kit. Mine is six slots and it spreads uh, six, uh, three metres wide with a working speed of three mile an hour. And we'll go and put that to the test shortly. I don't think it said there's a horsepower. I don't think it mattered. I suppose it's not a high horsepower item. Let's have a hook it up and bring it out of the shade. Into the sunshine. Hell window on just in case. Turn on silage distributor. And then obviously you can go up and down. Then we've got you can tilt into it as well. Wow it can tilt quite far. And then nothing on the R1. And we can tilt to the left and to the right. Wow, well, that is quite far. Lower unfold it is unfold oh there we go of course unfold oh, of course yeah it's stay in i got you now but it's wanting to control the front as well now i can't get that one back there it is other way right so we go in and test this out and here we have some chaff so let's put it to the test and see what it does. So we want to lower. Why wow, that works well. That was just one pass. So no more uneven bunkers. Look at that. I know it's only 59,000 there, but it's n not having a problem, is it? Look at that. See what happens when we lift it up a little bit. I'd say that's levelling, doing the job. Right, and that's that. Let's fold that up. Right, moving on, we have the Fortrit trailer pack which has just come out the, and the first one we're looking at is the HW 80.11 
Just if I can hit, no, I got the wrong one. Never mind. Well, they're both the same one. You got the different colours. Let's pull it out. Right, so this is a 15,000 litre capacity, which it doesn't look like it's 15,000. No, sorry, that is 11,000. That's the 11,000 capacity, that's the 15,000 capacity. Now the trailers, they are £4,957 to buy and you can lease them for £303. All these trailers are seven minus seven slots and this trailer will take all the crops. The two other variants over here, they only do like your silage and your grass and all that sort of caper basically no normal crops just your lightweight and um, sugarcane as well now there's quite a few different combinations where you can have the different chassis color and you see we've got the red and we've got the blacks and i seem to have the blues and i didn't have any more colors but there's five different design colors you can have there's they cost £500 each for for changing colour. The rim colours, there's four different ones. You've got the blue, the black, and there's the red. And there's another one, and I didn't bring that one out. I can't remember what that was. Bugger. Um, anyway, then you've got the main colours, which has five main colours as well. And I don't think I brought the red one out. But there are, you know, quite good customization for them. And this is for the first up to the baling trailer, which we've also got. You can hold quite a few bales on there. It's not a tipper at all. By the looks of it, it's just a... Oh, it might be actually. That might be a hydraulic ram. We'll give that a go and see what's going on. I do not have access to this land. Of course I don't. So we've got side tippers. It looks like they do tip both sides back as well. Let's have a look on the options. It's not telling us on the options. It normally says, oh, it's probably because I'm unloading. Tip left, tip right. Yeah, so it is, they are just side tippers, basically. A nice bit of animation there. So that must be with the bale trailer as well. Let me just go and get that one. No, and that doesn't make any difference whatsoever. It doesn't unload, doesn't do anything. It just stays how it is. Now, all these trailers have got a different tyre wheel set up, and there's four different ones. They're just different, they're wider ones, and then you've got some uh, na narrow ones as well, which, I, yeah, there's the narrows there. We've got quite a few different options on the tyres. They range from, I think it was 1500 to 1300 and 2000 on those. But they've all got exactly the same options on those. Now these three different ones here are, they've got a basically design where you can, t it's got a higher side to the right and to the left. So let's hook them up. So that's got a tip side. So what was that? Oh, I see. It opens up the whole side like that. And that was tip side left. So let's put that back down. No, not that one. So it does, they will only tip the one sort of way. Yeah, you haven't got the option to go tip side left or tip side right. Now the, 
let's see what the standard one does then so it must be just holding more capacity I think that's all it is nice animation though right these are the HW8011 SHAB and nice looking mods they really are same with the, you know the chassis you can change the chassis the wheels they've got all the same colors there are uh, only four different sh uh, five chassis colors it's nice the way the wheel chocks are in there well oh, let's get back under and see all this suspension the old leaf arm leaf spring leaf arm leaf spring crack it's awesome done a really good job fair play even with the hoses I didn't notice the hoses look at that pretty awesome bit of kit now these it says in the shop it was like five thousand odd but when you actually buy it it costs you six thousand nine hundred and fifty seven uh, you can lease it for 354 pounds and they same, same again there are minus seven slots and you've got all the different design colors like i said though you've got the left or the right but i couldn't really understand it must give you more capacity it must do but these are for for like like i said the grass hay and but not all it won't, won't take your normal crops basically and moving on we've got the fortress hw 80.11 at pf20 wow amazing now these are 4957 pounds to buy or 303 to lease 20,000 litre capacity sorry I didn't tell you on the last one actually the green one over there that's 18750 no 18750 litres and this the blue one is the 20,000 litre same again with all the colour choices that's all the same on all these trailers let's do a bit of unloading whoa So it's a bit different where it just dumps it in a nice little line along the side. Nice little mod. 20,000 each, so you can probably hook up four or five of these. That's 100,000. Jobs are good, and you know, they're not expensive, especially you leasing them. Just over 300 quid, absolute bargain. So uh, moving on, we have a couple of new sheds. We have the Lizard Vehicle Shelter and we have the Viz Lizard Vehicle Shelter Small. You wouldn't have believed it, would you? That you called this one the Small and this one's just a Vehicle Shelter. Now it does show lights on there, so I take it they are going to be automatic then because there are no switches. But you should be able to, um, these are, oh, what's we got there? No, that's a, just for look switch. I thought that was a light switch. But we can probably put a couple of these next to each other. I should have put a couple, never mind. But nice looking mods basically the large one will cost you twenty thousand pounds and it's a five pound a day maintenance on it minus 10 slots and the small one is four thousand eight hundred pounds and it is minus nine slots so yeah nine slots ten slots all that ten all that nine I know which one I won't be using 
but everyone's different I won't be using that what's the point nine slots that's crazy for that tiny little footprint no no thank you and that is it basically that, that was a pound a day maintenance I don't know if, I can't remember what I said so yeah nine slots ten slots and price wise it's a quarter of the cost hmm not a good one normally mods are cheap but that doesn't seem to be very cheap right so that is your lot for oh god right so that is the lot for today quite a few different new mods and the trailer loving the trailer absolutely loving that awesome the wood floating brilliant we'll try it with a smaller little tractor on there because this is my favorite mod it's got to be let's put that there and then the wood will drop down hopefully that's center of the axles as well perfect weight get up there and strap strap down there it is hopefully that's it there come on yeah Righto, that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'm glad that, th well, today was also another, it was all mods by modders. Would you bloody believe it? We, it looks like we are going for a, a full five day mods. However, we don't always get mods on a Friday, but if we do, that is it. That is the first time we've had mods every day of the week and there has been quite a few mods this week fair play they're actually pulling their finger out of their ass and getting the mods out which is what we bloody want there's still loads we're waiting for but it is what it is right if you enjoy the episode then please give me a like and i will see you next time